All right, this is Saturday, July the 3rd. Right, that's Saturday, July the 3rd, okay? So the 4th of July weekend, and this is the scene from Gulf Shores Beach. I can't describe it any other way than to say this is absolutely bizarre. And I'll show you uh, shortly some things that may not be obvious to you right here in this video, uh, some of the things that make um, uh, this visit to the beach so bizarre. But the one thing you notice right off the bat is where are all the people? This is... Uh, relatively deserted given the size of the beach and the type of weekend this is normally this beach would be packed with people uh, with towels and blankets laid out all over the different places and umbrellas set up uh, but that's just not what's happening here on saturday july the third and what is aside from a little bit of wind and an otherwise very nice day uh, to be at the beach all of these darker areas that you see there on the beach if you uh, saw my video from last night you saw where they were working 24 7 they were working through the night to get the beach all clean and uh it's not obvious to me from the this video uh exactly what they accomplished over the course of last night although you will notice that uh the video i had from last night at about midnight essentially midnight this morning uh there was not that large berm which i'm about to show you and there's some more video there of the tarballs that still litters the beach uh today in little strips of it uh here is this one thing that made it extra bizarre was this a large mound of sand that they piled up again at, at midnight 30 or so uh, this wasn't there uh, but at some point during the night they pushed up this roughly four four and a half foot tall uh, a pile of sand all along the beach right up to the surf zone so essentially when you come to the beach uh, if you want to be near the water you sort of have to make a decision are you going to be on this side of the big pile of sand or are you going to be on that side of course if you're on the water side as you can see the waves come right up to the big giant pile of sand so you're essentially making a commitment at that point that you're going to be uh, sort of hanging out really in the water and if you don't want to be constantly in the water then you have to be on the other pile of on the other side of the pile of sand and uh so it just kind of felt like a bizarre day here uh to see all these things unfold especially after i came here uh in the middle of the night to uh, just see what was taking place and saw the workers there uh cleaning up the beach uh, in a moment uh, this uh, uh family here apparently uh is going to uh, kind of illustrate <laughs> what people have to go through when they're crawling over this uh, pile of sand uh, so they're trying there's, there's a couple of ladies there trying to uh, get a young child and, and carry the young child across the sand and uh, so you can see this isn't something that's uh, super easy for you to kind of crawl across they managed to get across here or there but it just felt like it was such an unusual uh, feeling today to see all the tar on the beach to see the very small crowd although this looks like a lot of people that's just because they're all piled up against that uh, pile of sand and again this is fourth of july and you saw all that empty beach space uh, that is out there so there are people up against the water uh, you don't see anybody out in the water in floats although i have to admit the, the seas were still rough from hurricane alex the winds are still blowing very hard overnight they were blowing probably 30 35 miles an hour at times and these winds even today are blowing 20 to 25 miles an hour so the seas are rough but usually on a uh, fourth of july weekend you would have people out on rafts and and swimming in the water this is a uh, one person who did get into the water and uh we're there shortly but shortly thereafter uh the uh, lifeguard came up and talked with him and i'm presuming that uh he was saying basically you're not you're not supposed to be getting in the water so she was getting full down in the water and um he was giving her a warning there and uh so uh so they uh, uh they stopped uh, getting in the water after that so that's a report from uh gulf shores beach which was just kind of a bizarre day today on what would otherwise be a beautiful July 3rd, Saturday at the beach.